Hello everyone and welcome to this week's healing session. Today we're gonna do our Scorpio season inspired video. If you have any Scorpio placements in your birth chart, let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to read all about it and have a little bit of a moment to connect with you and in a way get to know you deeper with these secret little placements in our birth chart. I'm a little bit of a astrology nerd at this point. I just find it so fascinating. I think I have one Scorpio placement in my birth chart but I cannot remember where exactly. So yeah, but anyways, let's take this time to use these energies to our advantage and thrive within the season. If you really like this style of Reiki and astrology combined, I'm gonna upload a part two with even more intentions on my Patreon as well as my YouTube membership for those that don't have a Patreon. If you really like my style of Reiki, I offer one-on-one -on -one Reiki sessions as well. If you want to deepen a little bit your health journey and your healing path, but also offer one-on-one -on -one tarot readings for those that seek a little bit more of a guidance aspect. Actually, that's all fine as well because I have products to your advantage. I have a guided meditation for healing your body and mind as well as a shadow work ebook where you can work your way through different prompts and topics to connect more with your shadow self as well as your emotions it's kind of kind of like a journaling based aspect of it so thank you so much for letting me promote my stuff and my business real quick and let's get right into the session we're gonna have a little bit of a small cleansing I do have the window open because I have to have my door closed and I do not want to jeopardize my house by inhaling too much insects so if you hear some outside noises so sorry I'm gonna try to edit it out as much as possible but sometimes it's going to be difficult if I'm speaking in that moment and I have to tell something important like a general message but we're gonna use a citronella scent here. Probably more of a fresh scent. set intention here, the overall intention for the Scorpio season to be able to completely thrive within it. We don't have a lot of months left in this year so let's take the advantage of this energy of this zodiac sign to drive us even further into achieving whatever we want be so focused on our goals to not let ourselves be distracted to me the Scorpios are also some of the people that once they put their mind to something nothing is gonna hold them back especially no outside influence because they tend to live, be a little bit more mm, in solitude, go with their own flow. So we kind of want to adapt that energy as well a little bit. Going down 
around here for you as well to keep you grounded throughout the session. Your first intention is time to recharge. I'm just going to be brushing your energy down. Any high, extremely chaotic, all over the place energy you might have carried with you throughout the past couple of days, maybe even mm, weeks. We're just gonna brush this away, send it back down to the earth and allow your body to just simply slow down a little bit I don't know about you, but I've been having the beginning of October, maybe even the end of September be really busy for me <laughs> to the point where in this in-between season change I kind of like got a little bit sick and Sometimes I would force and push myself to be productive even though my body was telling me to just lay down and rest I did listen a bit to it, but sometimes A part of me felt guilty I guess for allowing myself to rest and I'm pretty sure a lot of you can relate to this so let's make sure that we put the priority of resting and our body's health first before anything like subconsciously screaming at us to just keep going, keep going, don't be lazy. Most of the time it's an old programming we have adapted from someone else, parents, grandparents, maybe even as far as teachers. So I also want to make sure we flush that old belief system out. Bringing that down in your subconscious Wiping that away so it does not bother you anymore For the next intention, this is a little bit maybe harsh for some people, but I find it really important and also necessary, I guess. So we're gonna take this black obsidian and with this we're gonna awaken a little bit of a shadow work aspect. So. Scorpios are true to themselves, they try to uncover mm, secrets in a way, yes, but also hidden stuff and in this case I want to help you uncover hidden parts of yourself that you have been trying to hide away for whatever reason it might be but Mm, shadow parts of yourself that make you feel guilty mm, like a darker aspect of you that you don't want necessarily the society to know about and slowly during the Scorpio season start to integrate those parts of yourself in your daily routine or like daily life Try not to be someone that you're not. Try to own up to your authentic self.
brushing work with through your chakras and focusing on your root chakra here which is your foundation point just got the image of the tower card in tarot which basically means a foundational shift your life turning around doing a complete 360 and basically when you start digging a little bit deeper into your personality and your self-concept as well you start to realize things that um, you start to realize the things that you've been trying to hide to keep away locked away basically also from the outside world maybe out of fear of being shamed for it so this is kind of like gonna invoke that a little bit your outside reality is gonna kind of like force you to own up to that part of yourself that you're hiding away and i'm just gonna take that energy and spread it all throughout your body so it's easier for you to settle in into that hidden not personality i guess but that part of yourself that felt like it has been locked away that could not be free so you just own up to it completely be conscious of negative emotions taking control over you so the more you try to push it away the more it feels like it's gonna fight you're gonna try to suppress those emotions and that's how they kind of become stagnant in your body so the point here would be whenever you feel like a negative emotion come up like fear anger resentment maybe even jealousy depending on the situation instead of trying to push that away let your body feel it call out i'm feeling anger i'm feeling jealousy I'm feeling resentment call those emotions out and can't let them pass through your body and that way they can move out and be processed much much easier instead of just trying to shove them down into a box and sealing it tight and shut where it just maybe one day will explode and overflow Going ahead and dragging that consciousness a little bit more down and help your body also be aware when those emotions come up. Sometimes when those emotions kind of like take control over, your body kind of like tightens itself. It's just like really like and I don't know how else to describe it. But whenever you notice that, for your body just to instantly relax and be able to let fully go of that moment. We move on to the next transit which is mercury in the first house working here with a blue lace agate and here i want to focus on self-talk so the way you talk to yourself internally in your mind and here i want to transform it from talking badly to yourself like try to keep track of how many times you call yourself stupid because you do something 
maybe you make a mistake. The way we sometimes just right away out of the pistol, we want to say like, ah, oh, I'm so stupid. When we shouldn't even be thinking that way about ourselves, right? Oh, that thought of putting yourself down may feel weird in that moment, but we just sometimes do it on impulse. And I want to kind of transmute that energy from talking badly to yourself and putting yourself constantly down to empowering yourself. Start telling yourself how intelligent you are, like a genius, like how many good ideas you have, how smart you are, how creative you are, you know. If you want to take it up a notch, I challenge you this week to do that in front of a mirror. Let me know down in the comment section down below if you feel up for it. Talk to yourself. Really talk of your no. Talk really highly of yourself in front of the mirror and see how freaking fast things just gonna switch for you in your mind. And how like it seems like everything is just all of a sudden so easy. I want to focus a little bit here on your mind area because a lot of times when we talk that to your to ourselves we do it from a subconscious programming so just infusing this with a more lighter and gentler energy Sink that deeper. Another thing I want to work on is you to work with your ego or your shadow self instead of working against it there's this misconception a little bit in the spiritual community i don't want to speak badly about those people but there are some that have the belief system that you have to push the ego away or you have to let it die off because it's this bad thing inside of you but the ego is nothing else than a defense mechanism that you have built over the years to keep yourself safe, to keep yourself out of harm for situations of being disappointed. And the only thing the ego wants is basically appreciation for doing that for you. It has your best interest at heart. So instead of fighting it, try to learn how to work with it so when you notice self-sabotaging coming up for opportunities don't beat yourself up, try to understand where does this come from where does this root belief linger in how did it get creative, when does it come up Kind of like try to analyze it a little bit. This plays a really bit into our last intention of the first house, which I'm gonna get into in a while. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to use here a tiger's eye. Which the overhead title, if I would have to give one, would be study. Study yourself or your life. Observe rather than react. So sometimes we like to jump into conclusions so quickly when we see something in our 3D reality where we're just like, oh, this happened because of this. When in actuality, my, maybe the meaning is completely different. So we're just gonna have a little bit of a moment where we take a few steps back and observe rather than react. You know, a prey animal doesn't jump right into action when it sees like potential food which sounds really bad when I think about it but you know they observe the situation and then they start to get ready to react maybe that's exactly what you need to do instead of reacting right away maybe take a few seconds real quick to assess assess I think that's how you probably can pronounce it, assess this situation and see what is going on. Because at first glance you might overlook something and that's why we jump to conclusions. I want to focus here a little bit on your eyes to give you that perspective shift. or of love to finish this up I hope you enjoyed this session I will see you guys in the next one until then goodbye everyone